Okay, three keys for Ave Maria. Really, we just need one. As long as the Eagles show up, they're going to win this game. It's an NAIA program. Um, it, you know, Dooley doesn't schedule these things on purpose. He was kind of forced into it. Couldn't get some late matchups that he wanted, uh, you know, late in the scheduling season anyway. So, you know, they had D2 Eckerd, which they beat 72-55 uh, to 55 on Monday night. And then here we go with Ave Maria and NAIA program. Again, as long as the Eagles show up, they'll win this thing. There's not much doubt about it. Uh, Ave Maria is 1-3, uh, technically 1-2. and two. Uh, They've played one Division I team, and that was Florida Atlantic, and they lost by 35. So uh, it's going to be a win. Show up. That's key number one. Number two is it's hard to get up for these type of games. Uh, Nate Hicks and, and Philip Jetta Cannon uh, basically admitted that last night, but they said the Alico Arena crowd did not let them just kind of waltz through this thing. The crowd really helped them last night. 4,124 showed up for this thing. So it would be nice if Alico Arena is packed again, keep this thing rolling, have a nice easy win, not worry too much about that. Uh, key number three is, it's not really a key, but uh, Bernard Thompson, will he play? We don't know. His right ankle is still gimpy. They rested it on uh, Monday night against Eckert. They may or may not do that. They're going to kind of monitor it this week. But I would be surprised to see if to see Bernard play Saturday night. There's really no use in doing that and rushing him back in any way, shape, or form. Uh, he hasn't been himself. He doesn't get uh, the good, strong positioning that he normally does because it's hard to slide that ankle over. And uh, I, I just think they'll probably give him a rest. They really want him full bore for Tuesday's big game at North Carolina State. So there are your keys that aren't really keys, but there you go.